الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله Islamic education is very important in my opinion in today's Western society as our kids are growing up in a world where they might not be super connected with their religious background. Especially in today's times, there's a lot of confusion out there. Kids get on the wrong track. So I think Islamic education really lays a good guideline footprint for the kids to follow. It's important for the upbringing of, of our children for them to understand what should be our values in any times, be it times earlier on when things weren't as, as questionable as they are now. Growing up in the United States in a non-Muslim country, I feel like it's very important to have a strong Islamic foundation for all of our children as a way of integrating Islam into day-to-day -day life for them, as a way of also building a stronger identity for them when they outgrow Islamic schooling and they're out into the public with non-Muslims. And they know the basic of Islam, they know the halal, haram, they, it's, it's a good foundation. Even they go in the public in high school and regular high schools, it's make huge difference because they know that one basic fundamental of Islam, uh, how to live uh, their life, uh, what is good for them, what is bad for them. And that's why, you know, we have to have this kind of institution in our uh, community. Masjid Hamza was, was formed a number of years back, much longer than Hamza Academy. Uh, and so this was based in Valley Stream. I been living in Valley Stream for the past 10 years now and the community has grown a lot and there's a great need for an Islamic school in this community. The community is growing. One reason for me to move in this neighborhood was of course uh, the Hamza Masjid and of course Hamza Academy. Our masjid is like a more than masjid. We wanted to build the foundation of our children. Have a place where they can comfortably be Muslims and learn about their religion and also learn about their academics and other things that they need to do. And that's where Hamza Academy was formed, given that uh, it was formed from the foundation of Masjid Hamza. And it provides a basis for the kids, uh, alternative to public education, homeschooling for people who want kids to grow up in a good environment. And so having an option here for students to come from being four years old in pre-K to now we have sixth grade and then we'll be having seventh and eighth grade, they have a pathway up through middle school at least. Tamza Academy is not just another school. It's an institution that builds character in our children. And it gives uh, much more power and strength to the community when I looked over their curriculum, they basically follow the public school curriculum almost exactly the same. In addition to it, they have built in Islamic studies, they have built in Quranic studies, along with Arabic reading and writing. Technology, physical education, so we are really all encompassing. Plus, the aspect of having prayer in school is so important. They're able to have prayer time and see this and grow up with it, which is, which is something that you don't see in public schools. One of my big worries was, are the kids going to be able to match public education? And for what I've seen, the lesson plans are right out of the same books that the public schools are using. It's very organized, structured, how they do their lessons, and the kids are advancing and you can see the progress every week. So when people say, like, what is the difference between public school and Islamic school? So I wanted to say, we are not taking out anything, we are adding things, right? So we are adding Quran and Arabic and Islamic studies. Our academic is wonderful. Uh, now we change a lot of teacher also, very well educated. MashaAllah, our principal is very, very good. And uh, the result is coming out uh, phenomenal. What we're doing for our community, what, are, what we're doing for our children, is putting them onto the straight path. All these deviations, all these, all these distractions that our children go through, it's to solidify them on the path to Allah SWT. You know, we want to produce Muslim students and Muslim citizens that are proud to be Muslims and that can give back to the community, that can serve the community at large, you know. 
So th that's what I think one of the biggest goals of this school is, is to make sure that our students are confident in being Muslims and they can take their Islamic teachings and serve the greater community. Research shows that children succeed academically when they are supported emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. I think the relationship with the teachers and students here are really phenomenal. You know, not only do they look at their academic needs, but they're really keen on making sure that they're emotionally well too. I have seen the teachers getting involved with the children's education and in their personal upbringing, character building, and uh, empowering them just like a parent. They are very involved in the children's education. They are very invested in giving all that they can to provide each child um, you know, the best education experience that they can. And they do it in many different ways. I've had teachers come up to me and tell me, you know, your child looks a little sad today. Is everything okay? What can we do? You know, is there anything I can do? So, you know, they, they pick up on everything, not just that, okay, she's learning her ABC, she's doing her math, but they really care for the students personally. What I have witnessed the teachers at Hamza Academy do is they uh, create space for the children to express that, um, their, their own individuality, and it's beautifully incorporated into the learning experience. So the goal is that, inshallah, we want it to expand. The plan is that um, Masjid has several properties and inshallah, like, you know, once we have enough funds, we will be able to expand. Right now, the classrooms that we're using, we're just using them temporarily. We're trying to build bigger and classrooms on top, on the top floor, and it's going to be designed to be a classroom. We don't want our kids to feel that uh, they're living in, uh, I mean, uh, going to the school in a regular. They, uh, we want them to feel that is a you know, legit and good uh, environment. They have a playground or they have a indoor games. They have all these facilities, whatever the school's supposed to have. And also include programs for like students with disabilities and learning disabilities and physical disabilities, just to have an all-encompassing school that can serve a variety of, a large portion of the community. The future for Hamza Academy, inshallah, is that we are able to expand what we have so far and be able to come together in one building. And this is where the community can really support our endeavors. I definitely feel investing more and donating more so that we can um, make an actual full building um, that's dedicated to just the school. We, if we have a good donors, we can reach our goal to make a complete, like a high school, that maybe the girls' high school or something like that. That's our dream. Uh, with the help of, of the community and, and uh, to help Hamza Academy to continue to expand, uh, our, our goal would be to be able to take a lot many more students into Hamza Academy, be able to expand to the higher grades, and, and make it a full institution comparable to the best school districts in the U.S. Inshallah, um, my dreams are big and um, I wanted to see it grow. I wanted to see, um, you know, nice classrooms for our students, our children. If they graduate from here, I want them to be a good Muslim, a successful human being. Um, a confident hijabis uh, who, are, who are proud to say I am a Muslim and I went to Hamza Academy. That's what my goal is.